I first started experimenting with taxidermy when I was a little kid. I remember making shoebox dioramas for my friends. Some of my friends' parents weren't too thrilled about that, but I thought it was great. My name's Alicia Good, and I'm an exhibits preparator at the Oakland Museum of California. One of the things that I really love about taxidermy as a profession is that it's a great melding of a lot of the areas that I'm passionate about. So I've always been artistically inclined and I've always loved nature. I started out uh, pursuing a degree in zoology, but then I decided to switch to fine art and I actually didn't end up finishing school because I got a job at a big museum and so I quit school to avoid going into debt and just started working full time and never went back. I think the work that we did at the Oakland Museum of California was one of the biggest projects that I've been involved with and there was a grizzly bear in particular that was just in horrible shape. We also got a herd of tule elk. They were also pretty damaged. They were even older than the bear was. They were collected in 1910. And I think that to pull off a nice mount and to have it be believable is to amass as much reference as you can and get to know the species, see them up close in life and learn their attitudes and posturing. People sometimes think it's creepy. I don't think it's creepy at all. There's no fascination with death or morbid aesthetic that I'm really going after. The most rewarding part of my job is knowing that I'm creating something that might inspire people to care about nature and want to conserve it. Hopefully through going to natural history museums and seeing taxidermy and dioramas, they'll learn about all these different kinds of animals and environments and hopefully through knowing about them and caring about them and being interested in them, they'll want to protect them in the future. Are you pursuing a unique career path? Let us know in the comments below. And to find out how a former corporate lawyer gave up his career to be a full-time Lego artist, check out this video right here. I left the law firm behind to play with bricks full-time. The bricks I use in my art are the very same bricks that people could purchase at a toy store. I don't paint them. I don't have access to special colors or special shapes and sizes. And we're in my art studio today where I have over 5 million Lego bricks. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe for more secret stories.